Hello everyone, welcome to this channel. So in today's tutorial, we'll be learning how to draft, cut and sew this beautiful asymmetric hemline with a slash and spread and a front slit. So if you're interested in knowing how I achieve this, please do not forget to hit on the like and the subscribe button. Do well by turning on your notification bell so you can get notified when else we upload a new tutorial. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you for stopping by. Thank you for always watching my videos. Guys, I've made this simple, this tutorial so simple and easy to understand. Please watch this video to the end. Share this video. Subscribe to the channel. So guys, let's get straight into the video. So guys, in order not to waste much of our time, I've gone ahead to draft this basic bodice pattern. We have our chest line, the bust point, and the hem line, and the half length. So from the full length, I added extra 6 inches. You can decide to make it 7 if you want your own to be longer. So I added extra 6 inches and it was drafted on fold. This is our shoulder, this is our chest line, our bust point, our half length, the full length, and the extension. So I'll be using my tracing wheel. I'm going to be tracing out this line so that I can mark it out on the other line. Please get a tracing wheel and trace it, then mark it to the other side. Remember, we drafted on fold. So guys, after I was done doing that, I've extended my drafting, and this is what we have. For this other side, I have shortage. It's okay, we're not going to make use of it. So this is the back pattern. As you can see, I've gone ahead to draft the back pattern and the full, I used, when I match the front and the back together, can you see? So the front and back, the back doesn't have extension. It's just the front that has extension. So the sides are equal. Please, I did add seam allowance to my measurement. My waist divided by four is six. I added one inches that intake. I replaced it back. My bust is 32 divided by Four is eight, so I marked it on my chest line. Then on the full length, my hip is divided by four is nine. I added one one inch extra, making it ten inches. Okay, so the one inch extra is for ease, or is not an allowance. We we'll still add an extra allowance. So I went ahead to extend this that leg. Okay, can you see that? So after doing that, I'm going to be connecting from this side, from this end. To this other that leg can you see that i've used my marker to connect it and you can extend this line as well okay so the next thing i'll go ahead and cut it out just like a seam between so guys after i was done doing that this is what it looks like from the waistline that's the half length i'll be marking three inches okay just watch what i'm doing and at this end i'll be marking half of an inch on both sides also at the bust point i'll just go ahead and connect like so can you see just go ahead and connect from the bust point to your dart leg then cut it out just like you see me too guys just watch what i'm doing if you don't understand what i'm saying i've trimmed off my darts so guys the next thing i'm going to be marking half of from the half of an inch that i marked earlier i'll just go ahead and connect or cut to that three inches that i marked earlier on can you see so for the front opening so you can decide to notch that part so that you don't mix it you 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 not forget okay you can notch that part or i again i went ahead to raise it up by two and by half of an inch okay i want this slit to be a bit a little bit longer so i just went ahead to trim it out can you see that then you notch this part now Please go ahead and notch on your pattern paper so that when you're transferring to your fabric, you'll not forget. I also went ahead to blend this other side to that point and I went ahead to notch like so. You can actually use two inches. You can even use one inch after your half length. It totally depends on how long you want that slit, the front slit to be. So for this other side that I'll go ahead and close it up. Just watch what I'm doing. If you don't understand what I'm saying, I'll go ahead and close up this other that okay then i'll use my masking tape to secure it or to tip it down can you see that please make sure you tip it down just like you see me doing then 
after doing that i'm going to be marking we are going to be slashing this so from the waistline i'll be marking one one inch for the difference so i'll be opening it up and i'll not get to this other part okay because i don't want the pleats to extend to the armhole area can you see that to the side instead so just go ahead and connect the one inch that we marked you can decide to make it 0 0.5 if you want it to be full so now i've gone ahead to get the center of my shoulder and i'll be marking 3.5 of the wideness of my neck and three inches for the depth for now so that means in total the wide width of our neck is seven so when i went ahead to connect like this from this other three inches i'll come down by six inches because this neck is an asymmetric neckline so i'm going to connect straight from that 3.5 down to the six inches can you see that then i'll use my curve rule i'm just going to connect it like so and blend deep you can place your tape and connect directly from the shoulder down to that six inches but this is totally fine i'll just go ahead and enhance it make it more visible then i'll blend it up like so okay so this is totally fine then i'll extend this line as well guys it has a yoke so i'm just going to cut it out and we are going to add yoke if you don't want you can decide to sew it but from the style the yoke was cut out and re they replaced it so i'm just going to be cutting out this neck like this and i'll cut also the yoke i'll cut it aside we'll be using it later okay so for this slash and spread i've gone ahead to enhance it and i'll be cutting it just like you see me doing please make sure when you're cutting just cut through to the end don't cut through to the end please don't cut through to the end so i'm going to this is what you should have this is totally okay okay so the next thing we're going to do we are going to these are basically our front pattern this is basically our front pattern so i've transferred it to my fabric and i opened it up i spread it by 1.5 if you don't want it to be really full you can use one inch so the distance between them is 1.5 as you can see so i placed it on my fabric i open it up 1.5 and, and 1.5 inches please so i've gone ahead to add one inch to the hem and i'll be adding half of an inch for this joining allowance and also at the shoulder and the armhole I'm going to be cutting like this. I'm not going to add any allowance at the armhole, but the shoulder I'll add half of an inch. At the neckline, I'll also add half of an inch as well. Also, at the side, I'll add one inch for the side seam allowance. Remember, we did not add any side seam allowance. So, at the neckline, I added half of an inch. Okay. So, guys, the next thing for this is the back. We'll be using neck width of 3.5, and the neck depth is totally optional. I went ahead to use 4 inches here, yeah, you can use 3, you can use 5, it totally depends on you, but make sure that the width is the same with the front, then go ahead and cut that like so. Guys, after I was done cutting, I'm going to be transferring to my fabric. As you can see, I also went ahead to add 1 inch for the side seam allowance, and at the back, center back, I'll not be adding anything because that's the zipper area. Then the neckline, I went ahead to add half of an inch. The shoulder, please add half of an inch. The armhole, you are not going to be adding any allowance. Then at the hem, add one inch as well. Okay, so guys, this is basically it. So the next thing I'm going to do, I've added half of an inch at the shoulder, one inch for the side, and one inch for the hem. For this side front, I'm going to, I've gone ahead to add one inch at the side. This side, I'm trimming then half of an inch for this other side and one inch at the hem so guys i'm going to be transferring my darts to my fabric so you can use your safety pin or just go ahead and trace out the dart leg so that it will be easy for you to mark out on your fabric i'll be repeating the same thing to the lining piece as well i'll cut it out and i'll go ahead to my sewing machine i'm going to be stitching it please if you are not using full lining you can just cut the facing to just turn the neckline okay but i'll be using a full lining for this i've gone ahead to call my lining fabric for the side fronts and for the 
other part of the front i've gone ahead to cut my lining piece as well i used all face setting for my lining and for the yoke i've gone ahead to transfer my yoke my pattern to my fabric and it was cut on a fold i mistakenly cut two for this so i'll be using just one so please make sure it, you cut it on fold and, and not the allowance so i'm going to be placing my yoke in between my fabric the the main fabric and the lining piece so the yoke will be in between it then i'm going to be stitching using half of an inch on my neckline can you see that so i'll stitch and stop and also i'm going to be stitching the side stitch using half of an inch and the hemline i'll stitch half of an inch okay can you see then also this other side i'll be working with my pattern paper please make sure remember the place we notched on our pattern paper Please, you are going to notch that same part on your fabric right now. Can you see? Give it a notch. Then I'm going to be stitching from that point. I'm going to be stitching from that from this part to the to that place where we notched, and I'll turn it out. Okay. So I'll repeat the same thing to this other side. I've notched it, and I'll be stitching half of an inch at the side and also the hemline and also this other side front as well i'll go ahead and turn it out please make sure you when stitching you place the right side facing each other please right side of your fabric to the right side of your lining and stitch so this is our back pattern i'll go ahead and stitch the dart i'll transfer the dart to my fabric i'll stitch the dart after stitching the dart i'll stitch the side the hemline of the top and also the zipper area and the neckline as well i'll turn it out through the armhole guys after i was done stitching this is what it looks like as you can see i've gone ahead to give it a good press and i notched this other part before turning out okay so this is what the inside looks like can you see it's really looking beautiful for the side from this is what it is i've gone ahead to give it a good press and remember to notch that place as well so guys the next thing we are just going to if you have overlocking machine you can go ahead and search this or if not you can just go ahead and stitch place them right side facing each other notch to notch then you're going to make gathers or pleats then please do not pleat to the end okay so i'll do that and show you and also i've stitched the dart on my phone at the back and i gave it a good press can you see it's looking pretty so the next thing we are going to do we are going to be joining the shoulder i'll place them right side facing each other and i'm going to be opening up pick one of the side of the front or the back then you are going to close it up like this lining to lining fabric to fabric and stitches in half of an inch so i'll repeat the same thing to the other side guys after i was done stitching can you see this is what it looks like please do not start splitting from the from the side okay and i've gone ahead to join the shoulder is look really looking beautiful so guys the next thing i'm just going to be placing them and you can at this point you can go ahead and fix up your zipper and also impute your body measurement but as at the time i was making this video i don't have this color of zip so i'm going to be that will be the last thing i'll be doing so go ahead and fix your put your body measurements guys after i was done putting my body measurements i went to give it i give it a good praise and also i've not fixed my zipper like i said i was i don't have the color of that zip as as at the time i was making this video but i'll do that later then i had to draft my basic sleeve and it's a turn up sleeve i have a tutorial on how to achieve this sleeve it's up on our channel you can scroll through and you'll see it or i'll drop the link in the description box so i'll be fixing this sleeve to my dress i made a three-quarter sleeve you can make yours a longer one or a short one so guys this is the final outcome let's know what you think about this dress i went ahead also to fix a cover button so you can use any color of your choice i decide to maintain the blue okay please give this video a thumbs up like this video share subscribe and if you come across ads on my video please kindly watch it please do not skip it that's the only means the only way we make a little money from this channel please do not skip the ad watch the ad thank you so much guys see you in my next tutorial bye